My take on the Nobel Prize in Physics, Werner Heisenberg, 1932, one out of one. I am filming this over 90 years later. On Friday, 13 September 2024, I am Tannis Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle slash Bergen. And I talk through uh, the Werner Heisenberg, he, him, his of Germany, Nobel Prize in Physics, Year of Award 1932. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics, won out of one of the prize, 100% of the prize, 100%, uh, for his research regarding the foundations slash fundamentals of quantum mechanics. I provide my take slash perspective on his award and contextualize it in terms of, this is kind of an interesting one, the ceremony for this award being held one year delayed. So the ceremony for this award was in 1933. So I thought that's actually pretty interesting. A lot of high profile awards are awarded, uh, like in the annual awards are like, they tend to be awarded or not awarded, not uh, announced in, to be awarded. And then there's a delay by one year. Um, this was back in the early 1930s. And for this man, think less Schrodinger's equation and more uncertainty principle as a matter of principle, or am I uncertain? So that's kind of how quantum mechanics goes for some people in terms of their understanding of quantum mechanics. I've always found it a little bit, um, it, it's a area of physics that clicked for me. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I've mentioned, I like his work in matrix mechanics, uh, and previously on this channel, I did a writing it was like a, a journal entry from 2018 or 2019 that I shared on this channel um, previously reading it out loud. Um, so Werner Heisenberg as a person is not new to this channel in the namespace uh, for this particular formatting. Welcome to the arena Mr. Werner Heisenberg who was born what 1901 and perished in 1977 but people say he's my soulmate. What? There's yeah okay. Uh, Perhaps he is the handsomest hottie of all modern physics. <laughs> A capital MP, modern physics. Uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> that's act like an actual category of physics is modern physics. Yeah. And so this is the, he deserved the full thing for the one thing. And the one thing was a very prolific thing. Um, but I think 1933 is perhaps notorious as the year, uh, I think that's the year Hitler got elected, right? So I was like, <laughs> I remember like hearing this and I was like, so he loved Heisenberg so much that he was like, we have something to fight for. And, or, or defend or something like that. I don't know, I was just like, I'm, I'm part German by ancestral origins and I was like, oh, it makes peace in this little ancient German girl's mind, right? It was like, yes. Haha. <laughs> Maybe there was a silver lining. And then they tried to enlist him to build the atom bomb and he was like, I don't think we have enough uranium. <laughs> so he's a really great guy in terms of like, um, like, yeah, in terms of like things could have played out in a much worse way than they did during World War II. And this is one of the guys that's the reason why World War II did not go as bad as it could have gone. So he's a hero in that sense. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Those are just my take, right? Clearly, I like the guy. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. That's my take on the Nobel Prize in Physics, Werner Heisenberg, 1932, one out of one.